The Miami Valley is getting ready to welcome former President Bill Clinton. He's going to be the keynote speaker at a luncheon tomorrow at the University of Dayton. That marks the 20th anniversary of the Dayton Peace Accords that ended the war in Bosnia. Mr. Clinton was president when the accords were signed right here at Wright Pat's Hope Hotel in 1995. President Clinton is going to be joined by dignitaries from around the world who are already in Dayton tonight. Our Lisa Smith is live with the new ambassador, Richard Holbrook Plaza, which was just unveiled. Lisa? Yeah, Jack, this is one of the plaques that was unveiled here a little while ago. It features the late Ambassador Richard Holbrook, and actually this entire plaza is dedicated to him as being one of the driving forces behind brokering the Dayton Peace Accords. Now, several mayors from Bosnian cities were here for this very first event of the week, marking the 20th anniversary of the agreement that ended the war in Bosnia and Herzegovina. The plaza consists of several plaques as well as stones that came from three war-torn cities. Those who were here today, as well as 20 years ago, say that what happened here in Dayton was an example of how to bring people in conflict together, but they say more work is needed. This is a beautiful memorial, but of course the best memorial to my husband would be a Bosnia that is finally at peace and integrated into Europe. That would be the, the best tribute to Richard. Now, Kati Martan is actually Richard Holbrook's widow. She is here already, as well as another um, a, a number of other dignitaries, as we said. Tomorrow will be a very big day. That is when President Bill Clinton will be here to address a luncheon crowd. Reporting live downtown, Lisa Smith, Fox 45 News on ABC.